Hello and welcome. This is Mr. Z, and we'll be talking about reverse normal calculations. Now, the last few days, we've been talking about finding the area to the left, to the right, or in between certain observations on a standard normal curve. In these problems, we're going to go backwards. So basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you an area. You'll have your mean, okay? You'll have your standard deviation, and you're going to have to find the x. Okay, so first we need to learn how to use the table. So finding areas from z-scores is the easiest use of the normal curve. But sometimes we start with areas and have to work backwards to get a z-score or even original data, uh, specifically observations. So we'll do a little practice with finding the z-score that correlates to each of the following areas. So the area to the left is 0.25. So I'll draw a little sketch. Okay. Now, 0.25 is a smaller area. Okay, it's a fourth of the graph. It's probably about there. I want to find that z-score. What z-score represents the area to the left is 0.25. So, I go to my standard normal chart. All right, again, which is table A in the front of my textbook, and basically here in the middle, these are all areas. Okay, these are all areas corresponding to z-scores. And basically what we did was we looked up a z-score, so 1.12, and we got an area. Basically, I'm going to give you the area, and you got to find the z-score. So, I want the area such that 0.25 is to the left. So, I'm scanning. I see some 14, 16, 20, 19, all right, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24, 25. Okay, so basically, I'm looking at these two numbers, and I want to figure out which one's closer to 0.25. This one's 14 away from 0.25. This one's 17 away. So this, 0.2415, is as close as I can get. So basically, I need to figure out what z-score corresponds to that. So it's negative 0.6, and I follow that up to 0.07. Again, you're following along in your textbook. So, negative 0.67. So, that is the z-score. So, this would be a z of negative 0.67. Okay, next example. Area to the left is 0 0.40. So, again, that's closer to the middle. Okay, it's just a sketch. And I want to figure out what that z is. So, I go to my table. And I'm going to find 0.40. Okay, I'm on the negative side. Now remember, at 0, I'll be at 50%. So any numbers less than 50% to the left are all going to be negative, And any numbers greater than 50% to the left are going to be positive. So I'm looking for 0.4. I see here some. Okay, there's a 0.4413 and a 0.3974. And I'm going to figure out which one's closer. This one's 13 away. This one's uh, 26 away, so this one's closer. I'm going to go with that one. Again, I'm going to follow it over to the side and get negative 0.2, and then I'm going to go up to the top and get the 5. So that would be a z-score of negative 0.2 and then up to the 5. So z is negative 0.25. Okay, that's my z-score. Now. Here, I've got the area to the right is 0 0.20, and I want this C. Now, remember my table always has areas to the left, so I can't look up 0 0.20, because that's the area to the right. I have to look up the other number, which in this case is 1 minus 20, or 1 minus 0 0.2, which would give me 0 0.80. So I'm actually going to look up 80% in my table. So I, I'm on the positive side of things. And I see here some 70s, 70s. Here's 80. These two numbers here are pretty close to 80. This one's 5 away. And this one's 23 away. So I'm going to go with the 5 away. That one's closer. I scan over. I get a z-score of 0.84. 
0.84. So this Z is positive 0.84. That's my Z score for that. Okay. Now, let's say the area to the right is 0.85. So there's my graph. Now, 85% is a lot. That's almost the whole thing. So that's 0.85, and I want my Z here. Now, I can tell right away, if 85% is to the right, that's over half. So this Z here is going to be negative. So I want to find the area to the right is 0.85. But again, I can't look that up because it's to the right. I want to look up the area to the left, which is 0.15. i got to look up that area. I always have to look up the area to the left. And that can be a little tricky at times. So I go to my table. And now 0.15 is less than half. So I'm going to go back to the negative side of the table and find 0.15. I'm getting close, getting close. Here's 1492. And here's 1515. So this is 8 away and this is 15 away. I'm going with the closer one right here. I scan over to get negative 1.0, and then I scan up to get 4. So this is going to have a z-score of negative 1.04. z equals negative 1.04. Okay, so that's the first part, just being able to go from area to a table, or from area to the table to the z-score. Now. Let's kind of tie that all together and practice some problems. Let's say that the SAT math scores are approximately normal, such that the distribution is normal, with a mean of 500 and a standard deviation of 100. Suppose that an, that an engineering school only accepts high school seniors with a math score above the 80th percentile. What is the minimum score to get into this school? So I'm going to draw a graph. Okay, just like we did in all the other problems. I'm going to label the mean, which was 500. I'm going to label my standard deviation, which was 100. And I want the 80th percentile. Remember, 80th percentile is 80% to the left. So I'm going to pick a point over here somewhere. I'm going to shade to the left. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly 80%. I'm getting close. Okay, and I basically want to find that x value right there. So the first thing I got to do is I have to get the z-score. So I'm basically going to go area, get the z-score, and plug that in to get x. Okay, so 80% is the area. I look that up in my table. All right, 80% to the left is right um, here. All right, 0.7995 is 5 away. This is 23 away. So my z-score is 0.84. Again, over to 0.8, up to 4. OK, so my z is 0.84, but I'm not even done yet. I need to find the x. I'm trying to find the minimum score. So here's where a little algebra comes into play. I use my formula, x minus mu over sigma. All right. I know my z score is 0.84. I don't know x. I know the mean is 500, and I know the standard deviation is 100. So I'm basically going to solve that for x. Multiply both sides by 100. Okay, I get 84 equals x minus 500. Add 500 to both sides, I get x equals 584. Okay, so this score right here is 584. So I would need to get at least a 584 on this uh, on the uh, math a uh, SAT to get accepted into this school. So that's a backwards problem. Here's another example. A different engineering school accepts seniors with a math, uh, math score in the top 30%. What is the minimum score to get into this school? So again, I'm going to draw my graph. I'm going to label the mean. Whoops, that's kind of a skewed right guy. 
we can do better. There we go. And mean of 500, standard deviation of 100, top 30% is somewhere over here, let's say, 0 0.30. And I'm looking for X. So again, I'm going to go from area okay, to uh, Z to X. Now, again, I can't look up 0.3 because 0.3 is the area to the right. I have to look up 0.70, which is the area to the left, and that's going to give me the z-score from my table. So I go to my table, and I'm going to find 0.70. Well, there are the two numbers closest to 0.70. This one is 59 away, and this one is 19 away. Uh, I think I said 59. That's obviously incorrect. 15 away, and this is 19 away. So you're going to go with this number here. It's closer. I follow over, Z is 0.52, so my Z score in this case would be 0.52. A little bit of algebra into my formula, X minus mu over sigma, my Z is 0.52. I'm solving for X, the mean is 500, standard deviation is 100. Multiply both sides by 100. Multiply by 100, I get 52 equals x minus 500. Add 500 to both sides, I get equals 552. x is 552. So I would need a score of at least 552 to get into this school. So there's some practice using uh, reverse normal problems. Again, I'm going to give you an area. you got to look up the z score. And then you'll know the mean and standard deviation. Plug those into the formula, a little bit of algebra, and you can get the actual score.